But today we're going to talk about deploying your application to Heroku, but we're also going to kill two birds with one stone and we're going to talk about the Puma web server. And the reason for that is because Puma, along with Thin and Passenger 5, are um, some of the most recommended web servers that you can use with action cable. So we're going to prep you and talk about these production web servers and you're going to start to need to use something like Puma in default with Rails 5 if you plan on using Action Cable. So you're probably going to see that any new Rails application, when you create one, let's just make one called To-Dos, and we'll CD into the To-Dos directory when this is finished. And you'll notice that when you create your new Rails application, you run Rails Server, that it will start booting Webrick. And this is great and all because Webrick actually ships by default with every Ruby installation.